So in this video, I'm going to show you how you can achieve the perfect slow motion for your videos in DaVinci Resolve. So right now I have this footage. Let me just play this. And you will see that there is a stream and it is going very fast. And the reason I chose this one is to show you how this will look like when you slow this down. And this is the perfect video for this, for in order to demonstrate this. So that's why I chose this. So you've already seen the footage. Now let's start to add the slow motion. Now it's this is very simple and this will work for any frame rate that you have. This will even work for the 24 frame rates per second if your footage is of that uh, frame rate. But the one that I have is of 60 frame rates per second. So this will work in a much more better way since it has more frames. But of course, this will also work for any footage that is of 24 frames per second. Go over here and the expector panel and then scroll down and you will see the option for speed change. Now, if you click on this, this will allow you to change the speed of the footage basically. So right now I will go ahead and change this to 10. Now, if I play this, you will see that we get this choppy looking kind of video but we don't want that. Now, if you scroll down or further, you will see the option for retime and scaling. Now over here, you will get the option for retime process. Just change this to optical flow and then change the motion estimation to enhance better. Now you will see how this looks. Here you will see we are getting a very nice looking slow motion. Now, one other thing I want to show you is that, let me just delete this and drag this once again. I want to show you how to do it in a much more effective way. So, for example, we have this footage. We will create some cuts within it. So let's go over to this side, let's say, and add a cut right here and then go over to, let's say, eight and then create a cut over here. Now, over here in the one in the middle, we're going to change the changes to the same settings that we did optical flow in retime process and then in motion estimation enhance better and then change the speed to let's say 10. So let's go ahead and play this and see how this looks. So this was it for the video. I hope you found this useful and I'll see you in the next one.